Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two. Today at 4, the Duck Creek Quarry has become this summer's hot swimming spot. And the village of Howard is making sure everyone is safe. The Green Bay police consider adding more school resource officers. And a weekend of festivals starts today.
Hi, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Having a business meeting about some Packers projects, so they had a, a lunch meeting with some folks from the Packers over at um, Anduzzi's. From WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters. This is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning and welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zelaski. Local 5 is proud to participate in an exchange program through the International Center for Journalists. Two journalists from Pakistan are stationed here at Local 5 to experience news reporting in the United States. Waqis Azim is a multimedia journalist with more than 12 years experience in television, radio and print. He currently works for 24 News HD, that's an Urdu language national news television channel. Akeem also, Azim also worked with CNBC in Pakistan. Kaisar Khan works for Geo News in Peshawar, reporting on education, commerce, and politics for TV and the website. He is also assigned to cover events on social issues, interfaith harmony, culture, and the environment. And we are going to meet both of them in just a moment, though. First, Local 5 News Director Kevin Osgood joins us. Welcome to the program, Kevin. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you. Not that I can get away from seeing you. You're the boss. It's interesting to be on set with you, yes. <laughs> a different chair for you. How did we get involved with this International Center for Journalists? The Wisconsin Broadcasters Association put out a call to, uh, to broadcasters around the state of Wisconsin and said, uh, if you are willing to host international journalists in your newsroom in an exchange program, let us know. And we did that a couple years ago. We said yes, and then last year mm -hmm. we got our first two international journalists. Uh, at that time they were from the, the African continent, and we right. had a journalist from Mozambique and a journalist from a country called Cape Verde. Um, I considered myself always a geography whiz, and when I, they said the country of Cape Verde, I, I admit I had to go to Google and and learn uh, but that that was great to have them here they were lucky enough to be here at the start of Packers season and uh, it, it was a lot of fun we learned a lot from them they learned a lot from us we made friendships that that crossed the ocean so, so fun. you wanted to take part in this program as we all did what is the goal in your mind of, of having these gentlemen with us well I think it, it it's a it's a two-way learning experience um, sometimes young American journalists not us but we have a newsroom full of young American journalists um, need to know, uh, broaden their horizons and have a stronger understanding of what journalism means in some, of, in some other countries. I mean, we're truth tellers. Journalists are truth tellers. And, and, and there's a lot on the line here and there's a lot on the line for, for other countries for, for having a, a media that's strong enough, a news media, to, to speak up and ask questions and, and hold the powerful people accountable. And uh, we all hear about politics in other countries, and, it, and they hear about the politics here. Um, but imagine having the, the experience to be able to come here 
um, like our journalists from the African continent were here during the run-up and the and the primaries for uh, the presidential race. Right. So they got to see really truly what happens where the rubber meets the road in the in the election system here in the United States. Um, and and while our Pakistani friends are here this time, there's been tremendous stories breaking back home that they would both be covering, and and they're on their they're on their phones walking around the newsroom w watching what happened. I mean. A former prime minister returns to the country to be thrown in jail. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to cover this story? And, and these gentlemen are, they're not local television news reporters. They're, they're correspondents for nationwide networks back in Pakistan. So this is the equivalent of CBS and the other networks here. These are two national reporters stationed to cover in the capital to cover politics and in a province to cover culture and politics as well. And, and they're here seeing how we do it and then to hear their stories. And the, some of the things they do, I, I wish we could do it that way here. Um, and, and, and then some of the challenges they face are identical to the challenges we face. And some of them are very different. So what have you taken away from this? You've been with these gentlemen for the past uh, two, three weeks now. What's your takeaway on this? I think, if, number one, it's a fantastic program um, yeah. to exchange journalists and so people can see this. Because probably the biggest benefit is the cultural takeaways. You know, there's a professional takeaway, and we all have the professional learning experiences, but to learn more about, uh, have the opportunity to learn more about the Pakistani culture, for, for them to have the experience of coming here. Um, if, you know, I don't know if you've ever been to Pakistan, but you I'm probably not. have an idea of what it might be like, but because they've been here and you've had a chance for some Q&A, you probably have a little better understanding of it. Um, and they had, you know, we can ask them, you know, what they thought of the United States before they came here, and then how much of that you know, is true and relevant and how much of it is just fictional. So, I mean, that's the biggest surprise that happened the last time we had visiting international journalists. And then the same things happened this time. And on the other side of the break, we are going to meet our two Pakistani journalists. So please, stay with us. <laughs> 